Now, in this video, we're going to go down the rabbit hole of geekdom a little bit uh, and model some screw threads. But before we do that, I need to make a brief correction. In the last video, I said that on this leg, uh, when we measure the tap, the tap needs to be smaller, uh, as we know, uh, so that we, or the, the hole needs to be smaller to make room for the tap. But uh, I said that it needed to be 3 64ths of an inch smaller, and that's not true. It needs to be 3 64th of an inch over 2 smaller uh, in total. So actually 1.5 64ths, uh, because, uh, well, we're dealing with a diameter, not a radius. So anyway, that's the tolerance that I'm using now. And what I would like to do is add some screw threads to the bottom piece of this. So to add some screw threads to this thing, let's go up to Features, Curves, Helix, and Spiral. Then it's going to ask for a plane to start our helix on. We'll just start on this plane right here. I'm going to grab this interior circle and convert entities just to bring that in. Then we can exit our sketch. It's going to fire off our spiral tool. Now, by default, you may be on pitch and revolution mode. Let's change that to height and pitch. We want the total height to be, oh, I don't know. Uh, let's say it's uh, 20 millimeters. So it's going most of the way up. In fact, we can blow all the way over the top of this. So let's just go up all the way. That's fine. And the pitch, we need that to be, this is going to be 1 inch over 20, right? Because this is 20 threads per inch. And where do I want to start this? Well, right now it's starting in some random place, 15 degrees off. If I start at 0, it's over here. I'd actually like to start at the other side. Let's start it at 180. So it starts right over on this side. And finally, make sure it's on counterclockwise. When I look at this, I want to make sure that we're going to be turning righty-tighty to, uh, to install this base. Okay, that's looking good. And now we just need to add uh, the, the actual geometry that will do our cutting, because we're going to be cutting this thread into our geometry. So I'll go to my right plane and create a sketch. And I can look normal to that. And Alt-F to do my handy zoom in trick here. And I need to cut into this slightly. So first of all, let's create a vertical line showing me where the outside edge of my product is. And I'll grab another line and create a triangle with one vertical side coincident or collinear with that line. I'll create another center line from the apex of this back to the center line of the other side and make that horizontal so this thing will be symmetrical for sure. I'm also going to snap the midpoint of this to the end point of our spiral. And finally, let's set the dimensions on this. We need for the angle to be an even 60 degrees, just like typical thread pitch uh, for, most, for most threads. And we want to cut into this by that same amount, so that 1.5 over 64 inches, right? So that's our actual thread size. Perfect. Now to actually do this cut, we'll exit the sketch, head up to Swept Cut, and we've selected this as our profile. Let's go to the path and select the curve we've created. It's going to run that all the way around. Hit OK. And we're left with screw threads. So we zoom back, and uh, that looks pretty convincing, right? Not bad. Close that up, head back to our document. We can see that our screw threads actually match up with, uh, with the overlap of the hole as well, which is nice. Now, doing the other half is kind of a pain, so uh, I'm, I'm going to leave that up to you if you want to do it. But for now, we're going to call that done. That looks plenty good to me. We've definitely indicated that this is a uh, tapped tapped protrusion sticking up here, and I think that is as much as we need to do. We've got lots of these sketches showing. I'm just going to hide all of those sketches from all the different components. There we go. Looks good. Let's move on.